A big change in leadership. TV5 has learned that Flint Fire Chief Raymond Barton has been terminated from his post. Thanks for watching the news at six. I'm David Custer and I'm Meg McLeod. This comes amid controversy surrounding a deadly house fire in May where two boys died of smoke inhalation. Barton said faulty wiring was to blame. The now former fire chief tells TV5's James Felton his side of the story. Yesterday I was um, called into the mayor's office um, and when I walked in, of course, he had other staff members in the office and he said, you know why you're in here? And I said, yes. Former Flint Fire Chief Raymond Barton recounts his final moments serving as the leader of the Flint Fire Department. He tells us he was fired by Mayor Sheldon Neely on Thursday. He said, well, this happens two ways. You can resign or I'm going to be going in a different direction. And I said, I'm not resigning. I'm not letting you off that easy. Barton tells us Neely told him that the reason he had to make a change was because of low morale in the fire department. Barton scoffs at that notion, saying he gave everything, even at the detriment of his own family, to the Flint Fire Department. I sacrificed my sons, the relationship sometimes with my sons, um, because they needed me, and my sons always had me. Barton is adamant he knows why the mayor wanted him gone. I'm fired mm -hmm. because um, I feel I wouldn't lie about the incident on Pulaski. That's where two boys died in a house fire earlier this year. Barton says two firefighters gave the all clear while the boys were still inside the burning home. They were found six minutes later. Barton wanted those firefighters suspended without pay. He claims Neely wanted them suspended with pay. Both firefighters are no longer with the department, and now the same can be said for Barton. I know it's only going to be worse for me, um, but like I said, I'm tired. I lost over 20 pounds since August. It ain't because I've been working out or changed my eating habit. It's because I've been stressed out. James Felton, WNEM, TV5. And we did reach out to the city of Flint for comment. The city said in a statement, quote, we categorically deny that this personnel change was done in retaliation. We're focused on maintaining the safety of our community and we will not debate staffing issues that fall under the mayor's purview per the charter.